We live in this world now where it's possible to have a picture of soil quality across the whole country at a phenomenal level of resolution from the satellites. It's possible for us to track the changes in water courses to predict the weather. We can do a huge amount more now than we ever could. Information is power. With that does come responsibility. First of all, to make sure that these enormous opportunities are accessible to those who need them. One of the key challenges is question of leadership. To realise that opportunity, it takes leaders who want to make sure that the decisions that they make are based on evidence and data. You know that a government is serious about data when they invest in data that tells them things they don't want to know. We need to encourage donors, I think, to adopt a sort of flexible long-term view and see data as an investment in systems rather than discrete one-off projects and products. For every one dollar that is invested in data systems, the country can expect an economic rate of return of about $32. So it's hugely good investment and it's an investment in the long term that keeps paying off again and again. Data is increasingly seen as part of the infrastructure to achieve the SDGs. And I think we're starting to really understand the urgency of investing in data systems now. We are seeing data becoming an issue, rising to the top of the agenda in some of the political forums like the G20. The onus is on all of us, is on governments, is on international organizations, is on donors to really work together to develop a concrete plan. We do really have an opportunity this year to make that breakthrough, to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals in this second half of that 15-year period.